folks, Larry Wingate here, back with another episode of Ask Larry Anything, the YouTube series, where you can ask Larry Wingate, that's me, anything in the world you'd like to know, and I'd be happy to give your question a shot. All you got to do is write me at info at LarryWingate.com. Today's question, it's a doozy. My husband is a stay-at-home dad for our 14 and 12-year-olds, and I work full-time. We came to this arrangement after the second child was born, and he didn't make enough money to justify daycare. I barely made enough for 10 years to make ends meet. Financially, things have become more stable now, and since we don't have to struggle as much, he feels entitled. I always have a problem with the word, word entitled. Entitled means something for nothing. I don't like that word. He feels entitled to a certain amount of spending money from me. I feel that if I support this, he will then continue to find excuses as to why he doesn't need to get a job. You think? Our kids are almost grown, and I don't want to end up with a mooch. Sounds like it might be a little bit too late for that. You already have a mooch. Uh, am I being unfair? Only to yourself you're being unfair. Goodness, and to your kids. Do you want this guy to be a role model for your children that he gets to stay at? What's, what's he doing all day long? I'm going to go ahead and read the P.S. Uh, I take care of most of the shopping and the cleaning and all of the finances. And you have the job. Uh, over the last year, I've been trying to boycott cooking from time to time, which sometimes works, uh, and then he will do it. Well, that's big of him. Uh, he also builds and fixes things around our house and exerts a lot of energy to this, i.e., he's not lazy. Uh, how broken are things around your house that from 8 a.m. when the kids go to wait school till about 3 o'clock in the afternoon when they come home from school, uh, he's busy fixing things? Really, how broken are things at your house? And have you been that broken for 10 years? What's he doing all day long? First thing I want to do is have an accounting of how he spends his entire day. You should be saying, I want to know how you spend your day. Make sure he's not sitting around watching a lot of TV because it sounds to me like he is. I'm not convinced he's not lazy. Uh, now, I know a lot of people are going to respond to this and say that I'm a sexist because if roles were reversed and the man went away and the wife stayed home, um, of course, people are going to say, well, doesn't the wife deserve some spending money? Of course she does. But typically, regardless of whether it's the man or the woman who works and the, one, the other one stays home, typically in a relationship, it's a partnership where the one that stays home also does a good amount of work. Now, let me see. According to your letter, you're doing pretty much all the work. Uh, except for fixing up those broken things at your house. Uh, you've got the job, you do the cooking, you take care of all the finances, and you do the cleaning, and he gets to what? No, seriously, he gets to what? Fill in the blank. What does he do all day long that would uh, make him feel like he deserves some of the money that you go away and earn? If he were contributing, and a lot of people stay home, I have spouses who stay home, man or woman, it doesn't matter to me, but that should be a real partner who contributes to the overall uh, of welfare of the family. It doesn't sound to me like it's that way in your case. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to sit down and have a conversation. I want you to lay out your frustrations, your expectations. I want him to come to the table with what he does all day long that makes him feel that he deserves, not as entitled to, people don't just get entitled to things, that he deserves a portion of your income as spending money, and I want to know why he can't get a job. Uh, seriously, there are jobs out there, so somehow during the day he could earn some money and earn his own spending money. Let me tell you what's going to happen. First of all, your kids are going to see this as a role model. Is that what you want? I wouldn't. Uh, secondly, uh, your resentments are going to go up. You're already resenting him. Uh, the third thing that's going to happen is his uh, inclination to go out and find a job is going to go way down. The other thing I want to make a point about is you don't have big enough needs or wants or desires or goals. You've learned to just kind of eke by, barely get by on how much money you alone make, which means when your kids do get to the point that they move out, hopefully they will move out. Most kids uh, need to move out. Uh, we've got way too many kids living at home. Uh, I want to know how you're going to pay for them to go to college. Are you going to go in debt with student loan debt? Not a great idea. Uh, are your kids smart enough to get a scholarship? I hope they are. Are they going to go in the Army? That's a great idea, too. But what is the plan for your kids? 
Uh, have you been able to put away some money? Sounds to me like you've barely been scraping by. Don't you want to take a vacation at some point? Don't you want some time off? Don't you want better things for yourself? If you wanted more and increased your desires and, and set bigger goals for yourself, you would both come together on those goals, if they were good joint goals, and be willing to do what it took in order to go earn enough money to make those things happen. So as time goes on, this situation is going to get worse, not better. You need to right now uh, sit down with him, and you guys got to put some things down on paper about what your expectations are, get some big goals and dreams, and he needs to account for his time and why he can't get a job and the number of hours that you're two almost teenagers, uh, are away at school. All right, listen, it's a great question. Uh, I appreciate it. A lot of people are faced with uh, money problems in relationships, the number one cause of divorce. Don't let it get to the point that your resentment builds to that level. Instead, stop and fix it now. If you have a question, please write me, info at LarryWingett.com. Thanks so much.